Hi friends, my name is Akim Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to migrate data from MailChimp to SQL Server using SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see how we can migrate data from MailChimp to SQL Server and then we will migrate data from SQL Server to MailChimp. So the MailChimp is one of the most popular service where you can send emails to a lot of customers. So for example, you can have thousands of emails and you can create a campaign and in the campaign you can send the email to thousands of people automatically so sometimes we need to migrate data between the mailchimp to sql server and vice versa so without wasting further time let's jump to the demo for this particular migration you will be using the ssis data flow components from the devart they offer a wide variety of components for example you can migrate data from mysql oracle salesforce snowflake mailchimp and then Dynamics 365 as well. So there are a lot of sources from where you can migrate the data into SQL Server and vice versa. So you can use the promo code learn SSIS10 for the 10% discount on the SSIS integration universal vendor. So I have created a free account on the MailChimp site. You can create a free account. And if you see here, um, you can actually create the campaigns where you can uh, send the emails to a lot of persons a lot of audiences and in the audiences there is a option all contacts so in the all contact you can see the contacts to which you want to send the email so right now this is my email uh, which automatically got added when i created this account so i added this particular email into the contact so right now i have only this particular contact this is my email address and this is the name information so the source is the admin ad so right now I have only one contact. So first I will just migrate this record into the SQL server. And then in the SQL server, I have actually 10 records already in the SQL server table. These 10 person with some email addresses. Then we will migrate all these 10 addresses from the SQL server into the MailChimp. Okay. So first of all, let's open the Visual Studio and try to migrate the existing record from the MailChimp into the SQL server. So we can use the data flow task to migrate the data from one source into the another destination. So I can call this particular data flow task as MailChimp to SQL. Okay. And then I can double click on this one to configure this. Because you want to read the data from the MailChimp. So our source will be the MailChimp component. So there is a devart MailChimp source component which we can use to fetch the data from the MailChimp. So I can just drag and drop the devart MailChimp source into the data flow task. All right. So the source component has been added to the data flow task. Now we can configure this one. Right click and edit. This is the devart MailChimp source editor. Now in the MailChimp connection manager, we need to create a new connection manager. So we can click on this one, create new connection manager. All right. So now here we got two options. Either we can provide the API key or we can simply click on the web login and we can connect to the MailChimp. So I just clicked on the second option here. We need to provide our username. So my username is Apple 33 and then we need to provide our password here. So I'm providing my password and then need to click on the login. So now it's saying that authorize devot SSIS components to allow access to your account. So we can click on allow so that it can read or write data into the MailChimp. Okay. So the authorization is successful. So now we can go back and you can click on test connection. So you can see that it's successfully connected. So I can click on OK. OK. So as soon as you click OK, on the left side, you can see all the tables from the MailChimp. So the list members table is the one which contains the email addresses. You know, the all contacts you are seeing, you know, all contacts, this one. So now we can just simply drag and drop the list members into the query window. And then if you want to preview data from, so you can click on the preview data option. So you can preview data here. Okay. So there is only one record right now. So I can close this one and then I can click. Okay. So we have configured the devart MailChimp source. Now to write the data into a SQL server table, uh, we can use the OLEDB component. So we can use the OLEDB destination here. So I can drag and drop the OLEDB destination into the data flow task. Then we can connect the MailChimp source with the OLEDB destination. Now I can configure the OLEDB destination here. 
click new to create a new connection manager so we have a divert connection manager which connects to the divert sql database so i can select this particular database connection and then from the data access mode i can select table or view fast load i can click new to create a new table so i can call my table name as list member with the same name as in the mailchimp and i can click ok i can click on the mappings to make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns and then i can click ok so we have configured the data flow task to migrate data from mailchimp into the sql server table so i can execute this particular data flow task so that it can fetch one single record from the mailchimp and can insert into the sql server table all right so you can see that the migration of the data from the mailchimp to the sql server is successful so i can go back to the sql server and i can refresh the tables to see the list member table that we just created so i can right click and select data from the list member table so you can see that the migration of the data from the mailchimp to the sql server is successful okay so this is fine now i have a table the emails table which contains 10 records so now i want to migrate data from the sql server to mailchimp so after the migration there should be 11 records here okay so for doing that particular thing we'll do just reverse of what we have done here so our source will be the sql server now so i can go back to the control flow and then i can just drag and drop another data flow task and now i will call it as sql to mail chim okay and then i can configure this one now our source will be the sql server source so i can write oledb here and then i can just drag and drop the oledb source so i can right click configure this one from data access mode i will select sql command and then i can copy this particular query paste it here so it will fetch data for the 10 records so i can close this one click ok so we have configured the oledb source now now to insert data into the mailchimp we can use the mailchimp destination component so i can just drag and drop the divert mailchimp destination component into the data flow task and then i can connect the oledb source with the mailchimp destination i can configure this one from the connection manager i can use the divert connection manager for the mailchimp now i can click on the component properties from the object name i can select the table which contains the email addresses and that is the list members table so i can select this one now i can click on the column mappings so the most of the columns have been mapped automatically the email address is inside the email address so i can map this column and then in the end we have the first name then we got last name uh, we got phone number and we got full name as well so full name will be a combination of the first name and the last name so for now i can click ok and then i can add the uh, full name as well so full name will be a combination of first name plus last name okay and this will be called as full name i can put a comma here okay so this will look like this so i can copy the query again paste the query again click ok and then in the column mapping i can add the full name as well so i can map the full name now so all the columns for which i had the values i have mapped them the most important column is the email because uh, while sending the emails to the person the email will be used okay so i can click ok now and now i can execute the data flow tasks so this will migrate the data uh, from sql server table which has 10 records and this will migrate data into the mailchimp all right so you can see that that the migration of 10 records from the sql server to mailchimp is successful so i can go back to the mailchimp and i can refresh the website so now you can see that in the all contacts we got several new addresses right these were the addresses that just got added okay and if i go to the right side so from here you can see that this component up till 33 this is added by the admin and now rest of the email addresses they added by the divert ssis components okay so you can clearly see all these details and this is the uh, date added okay which is the current time and this time is a bit earlier time okay 
So this is how you can migrate data from the SQL server to MailChimp and vice versa. So you can try the SSIS devert component. You don't need to write even a single line of code. You can maybe download the trial version for 30 days and you can test them. And if it looks good, then you can go with them. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time for a new video. Thank you so much.